Hello everyone and welcome to Burgers and Tech. Today I am talking about Apple Watch rumors. These rumors are coming from MacRumors.com. Of course, these are just rumors, so take them with a grain of salt. Now, this is the Apple Watch Series 8 and a lot of the rumors that were announced for the Apple Watch 7, such as the glucose monitoring and the blood pressure monitoring, did not come to fruition. Even here, it's still many months away from being launched. There is a lot to dive in here dive into so let's just get right into it first off the design and size options might change right now there's uh 41 and 45 millimeter uh, size options which one rumor is that they might change it to three different types of size options another thing that there is going to be a major overhaul in the design maybe similar to what the iPhone Pro and the iPhone the iPhone 13 looks like they're gonna square off the edges. I highly doubt that. Normally, when they change from those series one through three, they keep the the same dimensions for a couple of years. So I I don't think that's gonna happen. But the the rumor is is it's gonna be a major overhaul on how it looks. Another thing that the Mac rumors gets into is there's gonna be a rugged Apple Watch for people that might want a rugged Apple Watch be out in the construction site and they just doing a lot of things outdoorsy. Maybe they want like a harder glass so it doesn't shatter so easily. Um, I've had my Apple Watch. I've had multiple ones and I even, I don't do many things that would warrant a harder front glass. And I've hardly ever seen a Apple Watch actually with a shattered screen so but there might be a, a market out there for it the health features i think these are a possibility that they can come out a uh, temperature setting which i think is a actually a good idea now in the times that we live in hopefully this whole pandemic thing ends sooner than later but it would be good to always know what your temperature is and they say it could also detect when the user has the fever. And that could uh, be very, very good for people that are health conscious. One thing that I think would be a great idea to add is a lot of people don't even know that they have sleep apnea. Sleep apnea, Apple is aiming to use the existing blood oxygen sensor to detect sleep apnea, but there are issues when taking frequent readings without significant significantly impacting battery life. I think it would be a great idea for them to add the sleep apnea detection. Another great feature if they do add is car crash detection. If you were to get into a car crash, it, it would detect it and it would call emergency services because you may be incapacitated. Maybe if you get into a car crash, you hit your head, you're unable to call, but your your watch can say, hey, you know what? There's been a car crash. I'm going to call 911 and give the emergency services your location and it could be life saving. It goes on to say that this piggybacks off the fall detection. So this has saved many lives in the past. When elderly people fall, it's kind of like that, you know, I've fallen and I can't get up feature. The phone detects that you've fallen and then the phone asks you, are you okay? And then if you don't respond because say you hit your head and you can't the watch or hit the button on the watch saying that you're okay. The Apple Watch will actually call emergency services or whoever you put as an emergency contact which is a fantastic feature for the elderly or people with heart problems and some of the apple patents that they say which i found very interesting was one of them is a feature that times your wrist watch if you're out say outside running or if you're going to check if the blood pressure monitor feature is added so if it is added the wrist watch will actually tighten so it can take a better reading and then right here for accurate heart reading and loosen up afterwards. The tightening could also be used for directions, workout reps, and more. That's a very interesting feature. I don't know how that would impact the battery life. It's very interesting. Apple is thinking outside the box. Here are the patent filings right there. And the one that I feel that everyone would really want, and it's still just a huge rumor, I reported on this when before the Apple Watch Series 7 came out that the rumor was that there was going to be a blood glucose monitoring system for people with diabetes. And it would be great because you would not have to puncture your, your skin to take a reading. It would use infrared technology methods for non-invasive monitoring of blood, blood glucose levels using optical sensors technology that could potentially be make its way into the Apple Watch at some point in the future. 
Of course, this is just a rumor. Bloomberg says that the blood glucose monitoring is still many years away. And I could believe that. But if they do bring it on, that's going to be a game changer. It's going to change so many people's lives with diabetes that they have to check their uh, glucose levels and puncture their finger. Everyone will want to have this technology on their wrist because I don't know anyone that likes puncturing their fingertip or wherever it is to measure their blood uh, glucose. Another one that was rumored for the Apple Watch Series 7 was the blood pressure. And this, of course, did not come out as well in the Apple Watch Series 7. This is what many people want, but it did not come out. These are the type of things that people are looking forward to. For the people with high blood pressure, be able to just check your blood pressure when you're out and about before you go eat or about to go to some exciting event and make sure your blood pressure is not that high. I would look forward to you having that on my wrist as well. Those are the rumors as of January 2022. Now remember, take these all with a grain of salt. They are what it is, just a rumor, but it's something great that maybe we can look forward to. Let me know what you think in the comments. What is your favorite rumor? I'm looking forward to the sleep apnea and if they do overhaul the how the Apple Watch looks like. That looks uh, very exciting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Thanks a lot for checking out this video. Really appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful day.